Hello lovelies, in this video we're going to go over some basic introductory calculations looking at moles, concentration and volume for your A level chemistry. Now, if you look a bit further on in this playlist, then you'll see some exam style questions all are raised around these core skills as well. But this is the introductory video where we teach you the basics. This exercise is all about looking at the relationship between moles, concentration and volume. And before we get stuck into these questions, I'm going to let you know what equations are going to be really helpful for this exercise. So, first and foremost here, there is this classic equation that states that the moles, N, is equal to the concentration times by the volume. Now that is the original equation here. The concentration for this would be in moles per decimeter cubed. The volume would also have to be in decimeter cubed to use this in just this raw form. Sometimes though, we will find that particularly in chemistry, chemistry doesn't measure things in decimeter cubed very often. Quite often it's centimeters cubed. So in that case, I recommend using this. Moles is concentration times volume over a thousand. Now that factor of a thousand, all that that is really doing is just converting the volume anyway from centimeters cubed back down to decimeter cubed. But I just find that learning the equation like this, particularly as this is more commonly going to be the scenario that you are faced with, it just makes sense. So on top of that, we need to know how to link concentration in grams per decimeter cubed to a concentration in moles per decimeter cubed. And the way we can link the two is by stating that the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed is equal to concentration in moles per decimeter cubed times by the MR of that substance. So all in, these are the equations that we're going to be using for this exercise. If you don't know these already, I would recommend you put them on a flashcard so that you can get memorizing them because we're gonna see these come up all of the time throughout chemistry. So let's put these into practice now with some questions. Question one, we're asked to find the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in 60 centimeters cubed of 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed of sodium hydroxide solution. And how I like to start these is just by writing down what we're told. So in this question, we are told that the concentration is equal to 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. And we are told that the volume is 60 centimeters cubed. And that is all corresponding to that sodium hydroxide. So in this case here, we can see that our two measurements have different units, don't we? So you can see the concentration is in moles per decimeter cubed, but the volume is in centimeters cubed. So due to that, we're going to use the formula which states that moles is concentration times volume over 1000. So we can just substitute those numbers in here. So that's going to give us 0 0.5 times 60 over 1000. And tapping that away into the calculator, you'll find that the number of moles is equal to 0 0.03. And that there is our solution. Here we're asked to find the number of moles HCl in 100 centimeter cubed of 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed of HCl solution. So of that HCl solution, we are told that the concentration is equal to 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed. We are told that the volume is equal to 100 centimeters cubed. So again, here we can see that the units are inconsistent. So we will use the formula that states that moles is C times V over 1000. So substituting these numbers in, we get that 0 0.1 times 100 over 1000 gives us the number of moles. And that gives us 0 0.01 moles. And that's our solution. 
Here we're told that we have 50 centimetres cubed of a substance which contains 0 0.5 moles of X. And in this case, slightly differently, we're asked to find the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed. So in this case here, we will start by writing down what we know about X. So I know that the volume is equal to 50 centimeters cubed. And I know that the moles in this case is equal to 0 0.5 moles. And I know that I'm being asked to find the concentration. And the concentration, it does state, has to be in moles per decimeter cubed. So due to those inconsistent units again, we're going to use the equation that states that moles is concentration times volume over 1000. Now this question is slightly different though because we want to find the concentration instead. Now that means that we need to rearrange this equation to get concentration on its own. So to do that, the first thing to do would be to move that 1000 over. So we need to get rid of the divide 1000 and times through by 1000. So here we're going to get the moles times 1000. And then to get the V on its own, we're going to get rid of the times V and we're going to divide by the V. And this is a formula that you can just learn off by heart, but we're gonna often need to rearrange this. It's gonna come up every time you do an exam paper, it's gonna come up constantly. So we need to get really good with this. So let's substitute those numbers in. So here I get that concentration equals 0 0.5 times 1000 over 50. And here I end up getting for the concentration 10 moles per decimeter cubed. And that there will be the solution to this question. So next up, we're told that we have 250 decimeter cubed of a substance and it contains 0 0.01 moles of Y. We're asked to find the concentration of Y in moles per decimeter cubed. So for Y, let's have a look at what we know. So we know that the volume is equal to 250 decimeter cubed. We know that the moles is equal to 0 0.01. And we're asked to find the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed. Now notice in this particular case, both the volume and the desired concentration are both in decimeter cubed. Now it's unusual that this happens, but when it does, we can just simply use the equation that moles is concentration times volume. So in this particular case, we need to find the concentration. So we need to rearrange this formula to get the C all on its own. To do that, we need to get rid of the times V. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So in this case, we will get that the concentration equals the moles divided by the V. And that will give us 0 0.01 over 250. And that leaves us with four times 10 to the minus five moles per decimeter cubed. And that is our solution. For this next question, we're told that we have a solution X, which has a concentration of 0 0.3 moles per decimeter cubed. Given that the solution contains 0 0.05 moles of X, Find the volume of the solution in centimetres cubed. So let's get started by writing down what we know. So we're told that for x it has a concentration equal to 0 0.3 moles per decimeter cubed and we are also told that the number of moles within the solution is 0 0.05 moles. We're asked to find the volume but we need it in centimetres cubed. So due to those inconsistent units, we're going to use the formula that states that moles is equal to concentration times volume over 1000. Now in this particular case, we need to get the V on its own. 
So to get the V on its own, we need to multiply through by 1000 and then divide through by the concentration. So volume will equal to the moles times 1000 over the concentration. So let's substitute in that we know. So we know that the moles is 0 0.05 and we know that the concentration is 0 0.3. So all in here, we get a volume equal to 166.7 centimetres cubed if we round that up to one decimal place. So for our next question, we have solution Y, which has a concentration of 0.12 moles per decimetre cubed. We're given that the solution contains 0.02 moles of Y, and we're asked to find the volume of the solution in centimetres cubed. So as always, I'm a big fan of just writing down what we know. So we know the concentration is 0 0.12 moles per decimetre cubed. The moles is equal to 0 0.02. And the volume is what we are asked to find in centimetres cubed. So due to the fact the units aren't matching, we're going to use the formula that moles is concentration times volume over 1,000. So let's have a look at this. Let's think how can we rearrange this to get the volume as the subject. To do that, we need to multiply it through by the 1,000 and then divide by the C. Now that we've got that all looking nice and tidy, we can substitute in the moles and the concentration. So here we've got 0 0.02 times 1000 over 0 0.12. So tapping that into the calculator, I get 166.7 centimetres cubed. And that there will be our answer. So for this next question, we've got a solution of sulfuric acid and we're told what the concentration is in moles per decimeter cubed, but we're asked to find the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed. So to solve this, we need to remember our relationship between the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed and in moles per decimeter cubed. So we know that the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed is equal to the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed times by the MR of that substance. So in this particular case, we know the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed is equal to 0 0.02. All we need to do now is to work out what the MR is of sulfuric acid and we will be golden. So to get the MR, Remember, you are going to need your periodic table. We know what the mass number is on the periodic table. And so we've got two H's. The mass number of H is one. So we've got two times one. We've got one sulfur here. Sulfur has an, a mass number of 32.1. And then for oxygen, we have a mass number of 16. And we've got four of those. So that's four times 16. So we would tally all of these up and get an MR for sulfuric acid equal to 98.1. So now that we know that, we can substitute it into our equation. And so the concentration of this sulfuric acid solution in grams per decimeter cubed is going to be equal to 0 0.02 times by 98.1. And that gives us 1.962 grams per decimeter cubed. And that will be our answer. So for the last question of this exercise, this time we have a solution of calcium hydroxide. We're told what the concentration is in grams per decimeter cubed, and we're asked to find the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed. So Let's go back to our relationship. So we know that the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed. 
is equal to the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed times by the MR. So for this particular case, because we know the grams per decimeter cubed and we need to find the moles per decimeter cubed, we need to rearrange this. So to get the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed on its own, we simply need to get rid of the times MR, which means we just need to divide both sides by MR. So that will give us the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed is equal to the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed divided by the MR. Now in this question, we know that the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed is 0 0.05 already, and we just need to get what the MR is of the calcium hydroxide. So we're gonna need our trusty periodic table to solve this. Now, looking at the periodic table, I can see that the MR for calcium is 40.1. And if we look at this in the formula, you can see that because of those brackets, we have two oxygens and two hydrogens. So that means we've got two times 16 for the oxygen and then two times one for the hydrogen. So tallying that all together, I get 74.1 for the MR of calcium hydroxide. So that means that we know the MR is 74.1. So finally, we can get that concentration in moles per decimeter cubed that we want by doing 0 0.05 divided by 64.1. And I make that to be 0 0.00067 moles per decimeter cubed. And there we've done it. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.